Well, hi everybody. This is Roger in Kansas City. And um, wait till you get a load of this. We're not going to, we're not going to dilly dally. This is, I think, the most amazing thing I have ever found personally. So let's take a closer look at Canadian British Columbia and we're going to a little ghost town called Quesnel Forks if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Here is Quesnel Forks and we're going to find out a little more history on it. Quesnel Forks also simply known as the Forks or grandly known as Quesnel City is a ghost town in the Caribou region of British Columbia, Canada. It is located at the junction of the Quesnel and Caribou Rivers and is 160 kilometers southeast of Quesnel and only 11 kilometers northwest of Likely. Now, since we know, since we all know exactly where that is, let's take a closer look at Quesnel Forks, shall we? I found something extremely interesting before we get too far in. And that is, here is a picture of one of the oldest Tong houses in North America. <sighs> I don't know what a Tong house is. It looks like a cabin to me. Anyway, if you happen to be in the area and you're flying your UFO and you need somewhere to park, well, let me show you our handy parking area for Tong House touring. Here is something which I think is really interesting. I call this UFO parking area, but what do you think? Um, if you folks in British Columbia are seeing lights in the sky at night, these fellas might be the ornery rascals up to something that are that might have an explanation for it. Is that a little baby one down there at the bottom? Anyway, so there is a pretty darn good picture of something totally inexplicable and unseen to many human eyes. Okay, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Roger. Okay, anyway. Moving on out, there I found a little more, and I labeled them more. And uh, look at that guy. I don't know if that's a spaceship or a guy in a tank or or what. There's something here. There's something there. Well, that's one. No wonder it's a ghost town. I would have moved out too. You know, I saw this a little earlier, and I have no clue what this thing on a tower is. Hang on one second. Let's, let's see if I can spin this around just a little bit. If we can find out what he might be. That's the other side. Well, well. That didn't help a whole lot. But, um, let's go over here for a second. I saw something else here in this ghost town. Now, I'm not sure, that might be just a tree right there. But that little scenario off to the right, I, just, I can't get a, a clearer shot of it. But that's awfully odd looking. And I don't think that's a Tong house. Yeah. And there is a blue thing. Maybe that's a waiting pool for the people in the UFOs. Okay. So let's go ahead. Take one more look at the UFO parking. And I'll show you. I, I have this on a night filter. It helps get a little more definition. Let me put this in just regular daylight mode. It's still a pretty good picture. And if I haven't said I, uh, I'll put the coordinates on the 
title page, I will have the coordinates of this place on the title page. <clears throat> Look at that. You can even see markings on that. And there's a guy. There's an S on there. Okay. And there's there's those. What's that? Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, and just really quick down the way here, I did see something else worthy of a look. It's more of something that looked like flying craft of some sort. Now, there they are. I can't, that's about as good as it gets. Let me try to get a little better focus here. And there's that. Okay. Well, everybody, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to go back here. We're going to leave off at the uh, UFO parking area. And I'll also show you what it looks like in broad daylight before we leave one more time. Um, I hope those guys who drive the, uh, or ladies, aliens, extraterrestrials, whoever drives the little, uh, flies the crafts there are having a nice day. And I hope you're having a nice day. And I hope the people who live in the Tong houses are also having a nice day, even though it's a ghost town. Okay, anyway, this is Roger in Kansas City. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye